Hello, my name is Sean Willis, physiotherapist at University Hospital, London Health Sciences Centre. Frequently after hip, knee or ankle surgery, patients will require the use of crutches to walk. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the crutches on level ground and on the stairs, and how to make sure the crutches are appropriately fit for you. Prior to using crutches, you want to make sure of a couple of things. First, you want to make sure the crutch is in good repair. You want to make sure that the rubber tip is in good condition, and that the nuts and bolts are firmly secure. If you're going to be using the crutches in the winter, you can look at purchasing a metal tip to make it safer to walk in snow and ice. To fit the crutches, what you want to do is place the crutches underneath your arm. The top of the crutch should be about two to three fingers underneath the armpit, and the handle should come to the level of the wrist crease when the arm is by your side. When using crutches, it's important to remember to always bear weight through the handles of the crutches and not through the armpits. To walk, you will move both crutches forward first, followed by the operated leg, remembering to only put the prescribed amount of weight through that leg, then moving the non-operated leg and stepping to the operated leg. If you feel comfortable enough when walking, you may move the non-operated leg through the crutches. When climbing stairs with crutches, you first want to move close to the edge of the steps. You'll go up with your non-operated leg first, followed by the operated leg, and the crutches last. If you have a secure railing, you can double up the crutches on the opposite side of the railing, and then use the crutches and the railing to climb the stairs. First with the non-operated leg, followed by the operated leg, and then the crutch. When going down the stairs with crutches, you first want to move to the edge of the step. You will lower the crutches down onto the step below, followed by the operated leg, and lastly, the non-operated leg. If you have a secure railing, you will double up the crutches on the opposite side of the railing. You will lower the crutches down first, followed by the operated leg, and then the non-operated leg. If you are not allowed to bear any weight through your operated leg, you will move both crutches forward first, bearing weight on the hands, and then moving your non-operated leg through. Want to make sure that you do not take too large a step with the non-operated leg and again ensure that the operated leg remains in the air with no weight going through it. If you are not allowed to bear weight through the operated leg, to go up the stairs with crutches you will first move to the edge of the steps, bearing the weight through the hands of the crutches and remembering to keep the weight off the operated leg you will lift the non-operated leg up onto the step, followed by the crutches. If you have a secure railing, you will double up the crutches on the opposite side of the railing, and then use the crutches in the railing to go up the steps. When going down the stairs with crutches, you will first move to the edge of the step, You'll bring the crutches down forward first, followed by the operated leg, remembering not to put any weight through it, and then the non-operated leg. If you have a secure railing, you can double up the crutches on the opposite side of the railing, and then use the railing and the crutches to proceed down the steps. <laughs> 